Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with episode 9 of Crash Your Trash. We're going to be creating some circular tab clusters. So the idea of these is to not have them be, have a too thick of a profile but um, because they would hang off the page like so. So we want to make sure that they're you know, they're not too bulky to get in the way of the page. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. It's not gonna be any more bulk than any other kind of kind of cluster that I do. So I've got some um, papers. These are just um, scraps of printed paper, coffee dyed paper, I mean, um, vintage music pages and book pages, as well as I threw some of these in. These, this is that mixed media paper that we did where I threw it in a bucket and then we tossed it and sprayed and sp bladdered and all of that. I've got some textiles here. I'm starting out with creating the ones that are going to go in the Beloved Beauty Journal. That's the Antique Romance slash Victorian Journal that I'm doing for my friend. I've got some buttons that I just um, sewed uh, threaded with some gold uh, embroidery floss. Thought those would be fun. And then some other basis, um, mostly um, coffee dyed paper. So we're going to get going. I might do a couple in real time and then speed it up. We'll see how it goes. I'm a little bit, I'm a little scattered. I know I say that all the time, you guys, but there's just so much going on in my world right now. I just can't, I can't, I feel like I can't ca catch up or catch my breath. And I had my first like full PT this morning and I am hurting and I hadn't anticipated how much physical touch there would be going on with uh, men who are providing my care. So that was really hard as well as they did traction today, which I wasn't prepared for and it was quite uh, triggering for me. Um, thankfully, I've had a lot of therapy so I know how to work my way through that and move through it and breathe and tell myself the truth and you know all that stuff. So I did work through it, but it was it just it zapped me and my website went down this morning, not the user side, but the admin side completely crashed. So I woke up this morning to having to deal with that. So anyway, enough of my saga of frustration and challenges. Goodness, it's been something else though. And so we're going to start with um, the base. So I'm just going to get um, a few. Let's just start with three here just to kind of keep this um, manageable. So this is just some scrap of a coffee dyed paper. So I'm just going to ink the edges because in case any of those show, we want to make sure that it looks grungy as we like. At least that's what I like. You certainly don't, don't have to do that. But I was thinking, like, how many more clusters, kinds of clusters can I do? Well, I'm not done yet, guys. I have some more up my, sle up my sleeve. <laughs> so you'll have to check back. So there's that. So let's go ahead and start with the base. So I thought it would be nice to start with a paper base here. So I'm just going to kind of, I love this paper right here already. So let's just go ahead and tear that up. Tear it up a little bit. <clears throat> going to ink everything as we go guys oh the other the other cool thing is I did get my nails done again which I'm just loving these these are my real nails it's so amazing and having the gel manicure um, I met, think I mentioned in another video uh, definitely was um, the way to go like it really um, it saved my nails this last on this last go around so with all the mediums and stuff that I use so I was, I'm really happy with it. I'm really glad I started doing that. I'm just going to throw in some other paper here as well. I'm just feeling like I need something else on that base. So that's just not feeling big enough for me. Maybe we just need to start with another piece of paper and then we will build on top of that. I just feel like we need something more on the bottom. <clears throat> it can go outside of the circle. At least that's my thinking. Uh, just not, uh, you know, not ridiculously far out. Far out. Far out, man. And I think I want a little coffee dye paper in between those two. So again, I'm just going to do my normal, my normal layering in terms of the kinds of papers that I use and that kind of thing. So we can have a lot of variety here. And then I just feel like that's too bright for this. Let's see what else we have. Um, again, I've not done this before, so I may not have enough other stuff out here that's not colored. 
for this for this piece I, I don't want it to be too bold so we're going to go ahead and just glue as we go you know as I've showed you before there's no right or wrong so um, we just gonna we're just gonna put it down I think I want a little piece of lace underneath actually on the bottom of this because it's just feeling like it needs a little bit of help so let me grab my scissors here so I'm sitting here anyway and my back is just spasming like I'm ready to take a pain pill and I really have tried to avoid that but and they told me it would probably bother me today and it will probably bother me a little bit each time just because it's all new that that level of work on my on all of my body because you know where they said oh well, you have an option you can use your arms on this and activate that I'm like well you know what I'm here let's do it let's work the whole kitten caboodle so to speak um, so yeah it's fairly interesting <laughs> it's gonna take it's gonna zap me though I can tell I'm just not feeling that piece I don't want it to be too big I've never really um, created in such a such a um, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for such a small space where there's boundaries you know like that so we're just gonna go we we, we can't go wrong right we can't go wrong right <laughs> I'm gonna use my uh, barely arts here and there it goes on the table you guys probably see that all the time and you're like you're gonna complain about that woman a little bit later why don't you just put the pin where it belongs okay well let's put the pin where it belongs <laughs> There we go. Um, let's see what else we have here. We need a little bit more background. That's just too bright. Too bright. So I hope you guys are doing okay. It is Friday, um, April the 7th. So there's just one more day of, or this is the last day of spring break, technically. So, so yeah, I'm going to be good going back to work, you know, on Monday. It's going to be good. It'll be good to get back in a routine. I don't think I'm going to use that one because I changed my mind. But I do want to use this because I really love that piece. But I think I want another piece of lace. So this is where it gets fun because I can start you know, inserting some other bits, like I can add another piece of that if I wanted to, but that's gonna take, oh, I could cut it a little bit though. I have tons of this, so I'm not too concerned about using it. I'm gonna put that there. It's just so different, it's kind of weird. Feels weird. Okay, and we're gonna, ah, I'm sticking. Let's go ahead and get this on here and we'll um, pick some sentiments at the end uh, for what we want to put on here to just kind of leave it and I do want to have kind of so it has an up and a down or a direct some kind of a direction so there is that I love it um, I think I'll I, I do more on the next one because that seems a little bit plain actually I'm going to get words as we go because I have to do it well the inspiration is on me so I'm gonna go ahead and look in here in my little um, sentiment thing I can and I will begin anew that's a little bit big I need something small we're dealing with small spaces here so hmm. dance I like that I'm gonna trim this down just a little bit it's a little bit big for our space So I did figure out the the, um, the website. I got on the phone with with WordPress this morning, right when I woke up. hadn't even had my coffee yet, and um, we figured out that it was the culprit was some kind of um, plugin that just wasn't wasn't behaving. So we got that fixed. It was about almost a two-hour process on the phone with them. Oh, I like that. Sorry, that's off. Oh, goodness gracious, let me move this closer. Whoa! Oh, my poor elephant. My poor elephant fell down. 
You didn't break yourself, did you? Goodness gracious. Be nice to your stuff, Cara Renee. <laughs> I love elephants because they're gentle and powerful, but they don't hurt people and they don't hurt things. They're just, they're just floppy elephants, right? Big. It's so funny that they're so huge and they're so gentle. I love that. Ooh, I think I want to turn that so we've got a little bit of that red on the, oh, on the other side. Goodness gracious. There we go. Yeah. More like that. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Put our little word on here and then we'll move on to the second one. I love these though. I think these are going to be awesome. We need to put a button on here though, I think. So what do you think about the pink one or maybe the brown one to bring out the brown in the background here? What do you think? Yep. Buttons always seem to fix things, in my opinion. They just kind of finish it off. So we're gonna get that on there. I put a little bit of gold thread through there, gold uh, embroidery thread. So we're just gonna put that there, give it a little tap. Tap, 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 I need to get a paper towel. I wasn't quite prepared. Just gonna press that down. And I adore this, you guys. Look at that. So little and so petite. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so let's go on to two and three. Let's try to do two at a time this time. So this time I'm gonna start with a paper on the bottom. I have something big enough. I really, really, really want more paper that is in line with the theme that I'm doing. So let me just, I'm just going to fish in here just a little bit more and see if I can find something that's got a little bit more uh, pinkish stuff to it here. Um, I even like that. This has got a lot of white in it, which is kind of nice. A little bit of blue. Yep. sticking to me here must have glue on my fingers just I, I think I didn't get enough different variety of paper out so I'm gonna look some more here I really want to oh this would be lovely this is a piece of tissue paper or not tissue paper it is a digital printed on printed on tissue paper so it is lovely forgot about that mm-hmm Don't know if I want it there yet. We're just gonna keep on working through this. See what we've got going on here. This is paper that I just used from um, from uh, Rockwell Rockwell Design Crafts. I did my um, design team project for her, and uh, so this is the paper, the scraps that I had left over. So I think they'll be pretty here. Hmm. I think we need some lace though. What do you think? I think so. I think so. Let's just cut that off. The nice thing about this is you can kind of turn things a little bit so that they're they're sitting square square. They're not sitting square rather. So I don't want corner to corner. I'm going to try to do that so that's kind of cattywampus and I'm way to the edge of my table goodness gracious <clears throat> goodness gracious great balls of fire can't hardly tell it's a circle under there though huh that's okay I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a little bit of tissue paper I'm gonna use my, uh, I have to use the glitter glue because I'm putting on lace here. Putting it on lace, rather. <clears throat> Put 
that. I think these are going to be great. Look at that. So cool. I think I want to take this down just a little bit more. And I think we need something else in between here again. Maybe some music page. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it flew over on the other side of the desk. It's a rough one, guys. You ever have days, weeks like that where you're just like, come on, man, give me a break. Um, additionally, I'm processing so many emotional things right now. I just can't even, I can't even think. Try to not be reactive and try to be patient and wait and be still and all that stuff. So I don't, you know, get myself up in a lather about things that I cannot control. So there we go. And we want that now. I think we're, we might be ready for this. Like so. Yeah, I think so. Do we need another piece of lace? That was the white lace, so let's go with that again. That was this lace here. Got a bunch of little bits that I think will work. It's a little bit, little bit big. I just, you know, you know, I don't even have to tell you. I love the lace layers. <laughs> love them, love them. I'm gonna put that there. And then we're gonna put this on top. These aren't exactly turning out like I envisioned. It's really more challenging to be doing this in, in, in a smaller space than I'm used to, but we can see the layers and that's what, that's what I love. So we've got that one. Let's find a word. Again, we want it to be fairly small, but yet um, fitting for the journal. Let's see. Be perfect? I don't think so. I don't want to be perfect. Who, who can be perfect? Like, no way. It's not even good advice. You know what I mean? So, beautiful is always a good one. Let's do beautiful. My friend. I'm making this for is very beautiful and uh, despite her journey that has been quite difficult she is a, um, a woman of faith and um, and she is just delightful just delightful I don't see her I haven't seen her in a long time probably since before COVID um, but you know how that goes I think I kind of want that to go that way. I love that. Woohoo! What do you think, guys? Think another piece of lace, lace would be too much? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, me and my lace. This is going pretty fast, actually. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm going to kind of go down here. Oh, let's go up. Nope, let's go down. I don't want to cover up the leaf either, so... Just gonna do that and then let's find a button. A button, a button, pink little button. Oh, I like that gold thread on there now that I'm seeing it up against this. I'm just gonna put a little bead there and put our little gold thing there. I bet a person could even, um, you know, take some of that thread. In fact, I might grab some for the next one and kind of do like you do with um with sewing thread and kind of roll it and bunch it up and just put it down as a base it's not sticking come on probably just needs to set look at that it doesn't even look like it's a circle but i guess the idea wasn't a circle i just thought that was an easy way to start a base but that is beautiful oh my goodness okay so i'm going to grab that that embroidery floss here and or we might do some more how about that? I'm just going to grab some out of my drawer here. And let's 
see what else we've got here. <clears throat> I didn't pull out enough of what I really wanted here. This is this will be a good one right here. This is a great piece for this journal. I feel like I'm out, way out of screen, but I'm not. I'm just very close to the edge here. For some reason, I'm working close to my body, which tends to happen when I'm feeling a little bit other, otherwise exposed, if you know what I mean. It is hard to have men that are not my husband touching me. And they're very, very polite, and they're very kind. And when I kind of had a moment with one of the guys um, during the traction, he looked at me like he got wide-eyed and he's like, are you okay? He said, your eyes just got really big. And I said, oh, yeah, I said, I'm just, it's just a little triggering. And he says, oh, so you know about triggers? And I'm like, <laughs> yes, 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 I do know about triggers. I'm very familiar with triggers. So I just, I said, I know what to do. I know how to take care of myself and it'll be okay. I, this is something I need to do and, and stuff. So, so he was very nice and he left me to my, to my figuring it all out, which I was grateful for. He didn't, you know, he didn't get in my space and he didn't feel like he had to do anything other than just check in with me, which was nice. That just feels so bright, but I think it's going to be all right. We're going to go with it. There we go, I love that. We need something in between though, but not that, not the pink yet. How about a little bit of this gold? Oh yes, a little bit of the gold. Be pretty. Let's see if we can kind of go that way with that. Yep, so I'm gonna pretty much cover this whole thing with that gold fabric and some fabric tack. So anyway, you, I was wondering what you guys do for, for Easter. Do you have plans or do you get together with your family? Uh, we really don't, um, I, which seems kind of weird. Um, that's just, yeah, I have, it's historically been kind of a challenging season for me. And so I, um, I tend to, tend to stay close to home. My kids do their own thing. They're all grown up, you know. So, so yeah, we don't really do anything special. When the kids were little, we did, but I just kind of celebrate in my own way. Very, very grateful for what Easter means to me and to those who are of like faith. Um, but I don't get too, I don't get too, you know, I don't know. I'm just private, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Trying to find another piece that would go well here. I almost want that, but it's too much of that green all in one place. I am using fairly thick uh, cardstock here. This is the kit printed on 60 pound paper, so it is a little bit, a little bit heavy. Um, but oh, I like that pink. Now I don't really care for the pink. Is there another color that would work better here? Let's see. That will not go to waste, you know. Just tossing this little stack up here. There we go. There's another piece of that too. Where there's this. I think I like this. Just needs a little something something before I put this piece on. Yeah. Again guys, when you're creating these, there is no right or wrong way. It's really important to remind yourself of that because it can get frustrating, especially if you have a picture in your mind of how something you had anticipated something would turn out and then it doesn't turn out that way and it can be discouraging. So I just encourage you to know that there is no right or wrong way to do this. And the most important part is that you're happy with what you've created and that it's pleasing to you. So my Fabri-Tac seems to be um, a little bit plugged, 
let me just fix this really quick and then the rest of them I'm going to speed the video up um, so I don't keep you forever in a day and then you can watch if you want to continue so let's see what else do we want on here we need something to balance this other edge off so because it feels like it's uh, now it's unbalanced um, do we have any this is kind of pretty isn't it I don't even know where I got this but I saw it in the in the drawer that's too bold this 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 go around anyway um, shall, shall we do the pink now nope it needs to be this again if I'm gonna use it yeah too much okay so I'm gonna call this one good and um, we're gonna do another button and another sentiment or we might do a bling we can do bling on this too I've got these um, various ones here um, I'm all, oh the, the gold thread I don't want to forget that so I've got these green and blue and stuff that we could use I think I'll do that instead of a button this time so let's see oh we have sweet that's always oh believe it's a good one believe believe and I know folks have asked me where I get my sentiments I get them all over the place so I cannot really tell you where um, most of them I would say I got at my porch prints from my porch prints but that's not exclusive so I could have gotten them other places just search just search Etsy for um, junk journaling sentiments so I'm trying to think if I want this to kind of go a different direction so the word is going to control the angle of this just so you know and that's looking pretty darn good I like that let's put her on And a bling. Shall we put just a, one of these blings on? We could maybe, ooh, what would it be, look like to cut this flower out and put the bling on top of it? I'm gonna try it. That's really pretty. I like that. Is it too much to put a blingy on it? Let's try it. You can always take it off, right? Oh, I think that's perfect. Yay! Yay for trying new things. <laughs> Come on, Fabertac. I didn't turn her over. Just having a fit. Like right, right like that. Yes sir re or yes ma'am. Sorry, I'm a little off camera. I think part of the problem is is my back is hurting. So my back feels really tense and so I think I'm trying to compensate for that and I'm not doing a very good job. So I think when I'm done here, I shall go lay down and have a little bit of a nap. So there is that one. Look at that, isn't that so cute? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed through the rest of them and you guys can continue to can continue to watch. I think I'll do three more. We'll see how it goes.
I'm curious if you guys have any thoughts about what kinds of things you'd like to see in terms of um, Crash Your Trash. I uh, have run out of most of my ideas that aren't bigger. I'm sure more will occur to me, but I was just curious if you wanted to provide some some feedback about what you'd like to see. I'd be happy to um, see what I can do. So there's that. So what else do we want here? Oh, this would be lovely because it's right in those same colors. Kind of a blues. So you can go ahead and leave me a comment if you've got anything that you'd like to share in terms of um, ideas. I suppose we could do, um, well I know one thing I'm going to do. I saw, I watched Julie, and I can't remember her, her, um, her YouTube channel name off the top of my head, but she just did some paper beads and they were fantastic and so easy and you guys have probably done paper beads I have not so I thought that would be a great way to use some scraps so maybe I'll let that one be my next my next scrap buster video so I'm gonna pull some blue fabric out of here which would this would actually might actually go in the beloved beauty journal too because it's kind of got that deep rich feel to it so we might introduce this. I'm not sure. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. I love the sheer laces too. They, they, I love that they, um, at least to me, they leave a little bit of mystery because they, you can still see what's underneath them, but not quite, not quite. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So I think that's enough layers on that. So we need a word for this one and then a button. And I think we will use a button on this last one almost through this process. Happy. The best is yet to come. Uh, create. Graceful. Yes. She is that, my friend. <clears throat> gives the best hugs well next to my son my son Jeremy gives the best hugs like he doesn't let go and it's a wonderful feeling really really wonderful feeling I think I'm gonna kind of go that way with the quote on this one or the word Kind of go at an angle it'll be interesting to put these actually on the page edges or as a tab and see what they feel like and what they look like because I've not done it before it might be a disaster it might be spectacular I don't know you could obviously if you were concerned about bulk you could also go a little bit uh, lighter on the layers and still get the same look I just this is just the way that I do it so we need a, another button here do we want a white button yeah I think a white button I like that I like that against that blue so put a little bit of glue here and we are going to be done guys I thank you so much for coming by again and for being so faithful and so um supportive of everything that i do on the channel um, i posted on my facebook this morning that we have we already knew we reached the 1000 subscribers we're now at 1400 and um something 1440 something but we also hit the uh, watched hours. Um, you have to have 4,000 watched hours in a 365 rolling period of time and we have hit that. So that means I can now apply uh, for monetization and look a little bit further into that. I don't know what it means. I It might mean nothing. It might be, I don't know, <laughs> it might not be for me. I don't know, but it's quite an accomplishment. So anyway, and that's all thanks to you guys. So take care guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.